for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the mad cheese as always. Got another top five video for you guys today. Today I'm be going over top five run plays. That's right. The top five most explosive, hard to stop run plays in Madden 22 that I found either in uh, videos that I've already put out on YouTube. If I do use a video from YouTube and have a full scheme, I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to watch the full scheme, passing plays and running plays. But I'm also going to have a lot of plays that are just exclusive to my eBooks at this point. If you guys don't already put out two eBooks, I put out the Niners and the Raiders. Niners is my personal favorite but the Raiders is what I'm using right now and they're a very good uh, playbook as well so check those out link in the description below other than that if you guys want to see more top five videos like top five Woo! defenses hit the like button let me know in the comment section I'll do that next other than that let's go and skip right into the video and then of course the play that I'm going to start off this video with the wide receiver power fake brand new play out of this game it's as good as it looks uh, you just want to make sure you have a nice fast receiver uh, and this is just an amazing run play so we're going to start off with that so let's go and let's run this i would say cover three cover four would probably be the best defenses to run this as you can see right there off the first run we're having a lot of success we've got guys just diving at our ankles uh, i typically like to take that wide that was not a wide run but ultimately, if they're off in like soft zones and stuff like that, I mean, you're gonna have a ton of success. Here we go again. We're having, we didn't get outside that time, but you can see a huge lane right up the middle. Go ahead and run a few more times. I said, this is just, you know, I don't even, I, I keep messing up. I keep taking it short. I know I'm supposed to take it outside, but when I see that space, I just take it short. It's just the way that this play is. This play is just, it's so broken to the inside. It shouldn't be. And I feel like if I stretch it, I mean, honestly, I don't stretch it because the camera is blocking the TV for me. I try to force stretch it there. So let's go let's do that again. Like I said, I like to run inside because I can see a little better. But look at this. Like, where is where, where is this? <laughs> oh, and I fumble. That's something I noticed too, by the way. I fumble a little bit more often with receivers than I do running backs. The formation is the full house base. And it has some of the best plays uh, that that particular formation has, including this one here, which wasn't in that playbook last year. The wing power O. Maybe even the best play is going to be the wing power O. It completely changes, though. I mean, it basically turns into a traditional, uh, almost like a single back uh, ace look, you know, with uh, even look on each side. But you really have the opportunity to basically run this like a stretch play with a lead pulling guard, which most stretch plays don't have. I could flip this play too with the right stick, but I always want to run it away from any cover three box safeties. Like in this scenario, there's a box safety. So here, like I said, I can run it right up inside here, or a lot of times you can take it outside and basically just run it to the edge, kind of like a stretch. But you can see how the blocking works out there. Very overpowered run. Like I said, that's another play. I could really run that against anything. I have faith. These two plays are so good. I have faith you can run them against just about anything you see. I'm going to run in the direction of the tight end this time. Like I said, a lot of times you're going to want to take it outside. My guard did not quite get on that block in time. Maybe overran him. But you can see the blocking is just insane. The formation itself is the pistol weak. Now, there's a couple things you have to do to make this a little bit better. Number one, you can hit the right stick over a couple times until you get a dual half back that's going to be you know a way of putting in two uh running backs i think that that's one of the better ways to go me personally i like to just substitute them manually because i typically want a certain type of player at the fullback spot a certain type of player at the running back spot i probably want my fastest running back um where where you know the fullback is that's that's the play that i'm gonna have to try to take wide a lot of times the play itself is the triple option and this play here there's two reads to make the first read is i look at my tight end if my tight end is, as long as there's no safety outside of the tight end or no cornerback or no linebacker too far outside the tight end, I can run the triple option. So that's going to be the read here. I can also go the other way, but typically I'm going to do the safe play, which is going to be holding the A button and just trying to take this as wide as possible. Now you can see why I want speed at this running back spot. It's a really super simple play to run. And then when, you know, right here, that box is filled, just switch to the triple option. It's a really easy series of plays. If I didn't mention it, to hand it off to the triple option, you just have to hold the A button uh, and then, you know, basically just take it wide. So like I said, this is why you want your speed out here because if you don't have speed, you probably won't be able to get to the edge a lot of times. So without a doubt, two of the better runs. Here's a little bit of a different look here where the safety's outside the box. So that kind of eliminates the option of holding A and handing off to the fullback. Um, I could probably go right up the middle, but I'm going to try to force it a little bit because there is a third option. This is called the triple option. So you could easily uh, take it with the quarterback and then flip it out 
to the to the uh, the fullback slash running back on the other side. So that there, I hit the LB button to do that. Uh, but you can see you have a lot of opportunity for success. The gun split close. Now, a couple things you can do to make this formation even better. I number one always put in a uh, running back at the second uh, at the fullback spot um, for blocking. Maybe the fullback would be a better way to go, but ultimately I find it's best to just put in your best running back. My favorite run by far is definitely the fullback inside, which is another reason why you're going to want to make sure that you have an actual uh, running back there because most fullbacks aren't good enough to run that play. As far as the run plays go, is you have the option to go in either direction. Most plays you just have uh, the the fullback here, who is typically a running back doing an inside zone. That's basically what this is. This is an inside zone with a blocker, which if you really wanted to, you could put that if you run this play a lot you could put your fullback at uh, the spot that number 31's at there and then give yourself even better blocking but ultimately this is definitely the best run play this look here though doesn't necessarily look like the best look but you can see i still have success even if it's not going to be an explosive touchdown run which i'm hoping to get and when you run these plays you really want to think about um, you know, this is more of an inside run, but you really want to think about it more like they're looping wide runs. You know what I mean? Like you, you typically, you know, it's pretty obvious when it comes to the other play that's best to take the power outside. Although a lot of times I try to take it inside. It's really, this right play is more of an outside read in where the other play, the fullback inside is more of an inside read out. But there's going to be a lot of opportunities where it's best to just run it out wide like this and that's going to be really frustrating for your opponent especially if they're playing as a, a middle linebacker or user or whatever they're going to have a hard time keeping up or you know at least pre-diagnosing where the ball is going to go that's one of my favorite things about this running system is that you can't really tell where the ball is going to go at any given time because it could really go either way you can go left or right and your opponent's going to have a hard time guessing which is going to give you the advantage nine times out of ten and the strong y off the y off there's really only two that i like the halfback stretch now as far as stretch plays goes it's real simple reads it's gonna have the most success against cover threes and cover fours this looks like a cover three based off the fact those quarterbacks are out pretty far but if i'm not sure i can motion this guy across if the quarterback follows it's a man coverage and then you have an even bigger advantage based off of the fact that there's nobody there would be no cornerback outside here but this kind of looks like it's a cover three because the quarterback didn't follow so we'll motion this guy back across this is a perfect setup for this play the tight end is typically my read like on the other side we have a safety down the box if that safety was on the other side of the field i wouldn't want to run this based off the fact that my tight end is out outside of their widest linebacker. This is gonna be as about a good a look as I can get to run this play. And they just basically have to take it wide. You can see we get a very easy run for close to 10 yards or more. So that's gonna be one of the easy ways. Right here, once again, same thing. It looks like a man coverage this time because the cornerbacks are down. It's probably a man blitz, but that's fine because I'm gonna be going outside of it. So we're just gonna get outside here. Um, and you can see, like I said, we're having a lot of success. A lot of it's due to the blocking. I feel like this particular stretch play just pulls outside so much better than most stretch plays that I found. And the fact that you have a lead block, if you see these guys, they just both pull and get out wide. Like this is this is one of the, the more effective run blocking teams when it comes to the fullback tight end combination. But it's it's gonna be the same no matter what team you use or what offense you use. They just do a really good job of getting out wide and sealing that edge. Uh, probably better than any play that I found so far this year. Uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna move on. Actually, I'm gonna end the video there because ultimately I wanted to save some run plays for my Patreon scheme. And all the past plays will be on there as well. On my Patreon and my join out community tab on my ebooks all that stuff but we're going to end the video there so if you guys want to see part two you want to see a full breakdown i typically like to put those out on like saturdays or sundays when people are home hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching that my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below Thank you.